Hey, if you're watching the replay, say hello and tell me where you're from. I'm getting my camera set up, I mean my, my uh, iPad set up so I can watch for comments. So as you come in, say hello. My dog just had a bath, so she's shaking. Hi! I, this is a surprise live. I didn't know I was going to come on until a few minutes ago. So, hello, hello. If y'all want to share it, that'd be so awesome. I'm trying to turn the volume down, sorry. So I'm excited because I wanted to come on here and share some things with y'all about iPad lettering. Except it's with your phone. Okay, so I have my phone. And I'm going to show y'all some fun stuff. You don't have to have the iPad to do this. You don't have to have the iPad. While we're waiting, I'm, so you don't have to look at just my phone. I'm going to put that there. Hey! Hi, y'all. I'm so excited. I am, uh, I'm going to wait a couple seconds to get a couple more people on, and then I'm going to show you um, iPad lettering on my phone. So, you don't have to have an iPad to join us. Yay! Hey, Amanda! How's it going? Y'all share so we can have some new friends join us. That would be awesome. So fun. Okay, so, any are any of you um, thinking, oh, I don't have the iPad and I want to join the Be The Light Club? Or are you thinking, I'm not going to spend money on an iPad. I'm just not going to do it. Or I have no interest in digital lettering or anything like that. Um, well, I'm going to show you uh, just a demonstration on my phone that's a simple way to do hand lettering or artwork that you can do with hand lettering. Okay? This is, I, I just want to show you this. This is a, this is one of the projects we're going to do in our class next month in the tribe. And then this is um, on my online. This is my online group I'm talking about. My Be The Light Lettering Tribe. This is like the logo for it. And it's something you sign on, sign up for online. And then I'm going to teach you how to do this on the iPad. And you could also do it on your phone. And then this is the art project we'll do next month as well. One of them. Okay, so I have just a, this is an iPhone something. I'm not even sure which one it is. I think it's a 7 maybe. And I'm going to start by opening up the app. I've already downloaded it, but this is what it looks like. This one right here, when it says Pocket. So when you click on Pocket, I hope y'all can see this okay. Um, it's The app is called Pocket Procreate. It was $4.99. And let me start from nothing. I'm, I just now got this stylus, so I'm getting used to it. Oops, that's not it. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is my little like uh, artwork that I've done so far, except these came with it. <laughs> this is actually what you could do if you spend a lot of time on it. Okay. Um, that's not my level, I will say, but look what someone can do. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. It's so incredible. Hi, Sheila. Welcome. I'm just showing how to do um, some digital artwork on the Pocket Procreate on your phone. Somebody did that, y'all. With this little app, somebody created this. So I'm not going to show you that kind of techie stuff. I'm going to show you a lot smaller version. So um, I'll start with something like this. This is something anybody can do. Uh, this is a stylus. I'm sure you've seen them before or heard about them, but they have just like a little squishy end. And they will, um, you can use it to write in this app or you can use it to touch buttons and that kind of thing. And then this one actually has a pen on the other side. So it's kind of nice that you can use it for something other than that. Um, okay, so we're going to start from scratch. But we're going to make this, okay? Hi, Debbie. Good to see you on here. Okay, so we're just going to start from nothing, okay? So I'm going to do the plus sign and that's starting a new project. And this is the screen size, all right? Thank you all for sharing, by the way. Um, and we're just going to do the size of the screen right here. Or you could do a square, you could do a four by six photo size. Um, 
but I, and I haven't studied this near as much as I have my iPad, but I just want you to know this is something that anybody can do. They don't have to have the eye pencil or their iPad. Let's do the screen size. Okay, so this is the whole screen, which I could make a wallpaper for my phone if I wanted to. Okay, we're gonna start, like I said, to do the heart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click this paintbrush right up here at the top, and here's all the paintbrushes that I have under, this is painting, and then I, no, this is calligraphy. And then I've got painting right here, and this is a damp brush, and that's what I've used for it, so I'm just gonna, hi Jan, welcome. And I'm just gonna use that brush. So I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna change my color right now. It's black, it's this circle right here. And I, I'm, going, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker than maybe I would just because um, you may not have this and you might be like, okay, let's just see what it does. <laughs> All right, so I'd made that mark. If I wanna erase it, I double tap and it's gone, okay? So right now I've just used my fingers and a stylus. You don't actually have to have this. I'll show you, actually, um, I can do this with just my finger. But when I got to writing stuff, I decided it was a lot easier with the stylus. So I'm just going to show you how you can use your fingers. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. And this paintbrush, is, it's, a, it's not supposed to look a perfect. I wanted it to look like flowy. Um, and then um, if I want to, I'm going to go ahead and, and go to a different pen. So up here, I've got sketching pens, inking pens, calligraphy pens. I'm going to click on calligraphy pen. This is a mono line, so it's not like a brush. It's just like a, I like it because it's a kind of a thick brush. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so now I've got that, but it's in pink, and I don't want pink. I want a different color, so I'm going to double tap it and get rid of it. Over here, you can barely see. I don't even know if y'all can see it all. You can barely see this right here. I'm going to change this first of all to black because I want the words to be black. And then right here, this, do you see that dot? That is this my pen getting bigger and smaller, okay? So I'm going to write the word love. Oh, that's really thick, okay? And so I can write it and decide, okay, is that, do I like that? I kind of do, actually. What if I think it's too big? Well... I'm going to go up here to modify. I'm going to click on this arrow, and it's going to let me make this. Oops, that's the whole thing. Well, I'll, I'll have to teach that later. But So the whole thing now is going to be smaller. If I would have made it on layers, the love would have moved separately. I'll sh Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so I'm going to unclick that. I'm going to double tap because I want to get rid of the love. And now I'm going to start a new layer. Okay, so the heart's on a layer. It's all by itself. If I don't want the love to be touching like right on top of it, I'm going to click New Layer. So I can just move the love when I do it here. Okay, so let's try that again. All right. Now I'm going to go over here, click the arrow, and I can make love small by itself. All right, like that. What if I wanted to, um, I can copy that and do love several times. If I want to. It's a little bit different than the iPad, so I'm kind of having to look where some things are, but isn't that fun? It's pretty simple and um, really fun to do. I don't know how new this app is, but it's pretty new. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's go to, let's make a new, so here's the love I did before. It's different than that one. I just want to show you how to make a heart. And you see here where, um, I did the love like this on the other one, and you can see on this one it's real thin. So I used, I took this, and I made it smaller, so the brush would be smaller. So that's not quite as small, but, um, all right. So let's go back, and let's start, let's do a shamrock for, I was going to ask you, are you wearing green right now? Who's wearing green? If you're not... I'm going to trust you to pinch yourself. If not, tell someone in the room to pinch you. <laughs> okay, so now we have that brush that I was using, and I don't want that. Okay, I want, I like, I love, right now I'm really into that one brush I showed y'all a minute ago. So it is like the um, painting one, the damp brush. I just, for some reason, I love that. It's really pretty. 
And again, I'm just going to go ahead and show you with my finger how this can work with your fingers. Now on this brush, it kind of runs out of um, paint like it, like it would in normal life. So you have to pick up your finger and then draw it again like that. And I'm starting to like the stylus better because I've been using it. I have a little bit more control with it. But to make a clover, um, I make a heart. And an easy way to do this would be, let's make it smaller. Okay, and then let's copy it. Oops. Has anybody downloaded this yet? Hi, Mary Jean. Hi, Lisa Marie. We, I am using the Pocket Procreate. It's $4.99. Jan, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'll, you could Google that. Just ask if um, the Android phone can be used with Pocket Procreate or something like that. So I'm taking this heart, and I'm going to add a new layer. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not. Um, I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, and then I have another heart, so I'm going to highlight it. Oh, I could rotate it this way if I, if I would have thought about it. See how you can rotate it like that? That's pretty cool. And then I'm going to copy that one. And I'm going to select it. That's what that is. And then I'm going to duplicate it. I mean, I'm going to flip it. And there it is. Look at that, y'all. How easy is that? All right. So now you could use your finger. I'm going to use this because I'm starting to really like it and I don't like that at all so I'm going to double tap it off um I think I want to go I think I'm going to change it to black and kind of do an outline um like a loose outline I like to do the like little double lines or whatever so I'm going to go back to my pens I love that monoline brush but I want it smaller so remember I'm going to do this and that makes it bigger and smaller so I'm going to do it about like that and we'll see we'll see if we like it Thank y'all for sharing. This is this is pretty new, so I think a lot of people will want to see it. So go ahead and share away. Okay, so I'm purposely not going right in the lines because that is the look I'm going for. It's kind of supposed to look a little bit messy. But I don't love that. Now, I'm really new at playing with this app, too, by the way. Thanks for sharing, Barbara. You think it's for iOS only? I kind of think it is, too, Sandy. I do. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I kind of think it is, too. All right, so I don't know about the stem. Maybe it does need some green. It was just too thick. I just didn't like how thick it was. Let me see. I'm going to color that in and see if I like that. I don't really love it. Come on. Okay. I'm going to go back to that green. Now, I want to get that exact green, so I'm going to hold this down, and it's going to change that. Did y'all see that? The name of the app. No worries. Hi. Um, it is called Pocket Procreate, and I'm going to write it down. That way y'all can understand me um, when I, and then, yeah, you'll know what I'm saying. Pocket Monica Pocket Procreate. All right, can y'all see that? Okay. App. And then I'm going to put iOS users. Is app one P or two? Oh, it's two. I'm watching y'all now. <laughs> okay. Um, for iOS. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi. Hi, Pam. Monica. I don't want to say it wrong. Is it Yashika? It's pretty if it is. Um, okay, so I've gotten to this point. Now I've turned it back to the green color. I'm going to go over here and let's go back to that paintbrush I had, the damp brush, but let's, um, let's just make it smaller. It's just too big. Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful name. Thanks for watching. There we go. That's so much better. I'm still not in love with the shape I did, but it's better. Sometimes you just got to move on, you know? You got to be like, okay, it's not that big of a deal. 
Okay, so let's see. Now I'm going to go back to my black, which I could have done things in a different order. I just, um, okay, I'm going to make this small again. Make sure it's small. Oh, wrong paintbrush. Anyway, people, you know, they all do theirs different. Oh, come on. I'm getting used to the stylus because I just got it today. There we go. That's better. Okay, so here we go. Hi, Tracy. How are you? So, Tracy, guess what I found out? Today, or yesterday, you know, um, I was talking about my new membership group and people signing up, and I found out why it was so quiet yesterday, because my link wasn't working. <laughs> so, today, my link is working. If y'all, any of y'all were trying to sign up yesterday for my Be The Light Lettering Tribe, the link is active now, and so, um, you don't, don't delay. Don't delay. It's just open for a limited time. Okay, so now I'm just going to do, um, um, let me, now I'm going to put all these together. Okay, now it's all in one group, and I can move that whole group, and I can make it smaller if I want, because I think I'm going to write, you know what it needs? I just can't let anything go without putting a little bit of shading on it, you know? Let's do white. Let's stick with our brush. Paint the paintbrush. Now, we can get more details when we, when we make it larger, so I'm just going to do some little... Little highlights, not shading. Sorry, highlights. If I do, if I do want to do some shading, though, I can do that too. Let's duplicate that. Let's make this. Oh wait, I don't think I've done. I haven't done this on this. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I've never done this on this. You know, the phone. So I, let me see if it's going to work the way I want it to. It does. Yes. Yay. See how, can you see the black that came up through there? Well, now I'm going to take it and slide it over. Look, I made kind of like a shadow. See how that's like that? Gives it a totally different look, doesn't it? It's just so much more vibrant. It pops it out, makes it pop out. That's what I did my last set of scripture cards like. If you saw the ones would be the light. <clears throat> It was the ones that looked like this. This is what that would look like printed out. It would look similar to this, but I was going to show you all my scripture cards. But I made something like that you could make in this app. But anyway, I made all of these, and then I put them in the little section that uh, made them into scripture cards right here. So this is something, this, these are kind of things we'll do in my lettering tribe. All right. And that's going to be my new book, by the way. Part of it. Added depth, yes, so much. I mean, it, it's it's like night and day. I wish I could show you. I don't think I could show you on this screen, but like on the iPad, you can see. You can take it off and put it on and be able to view it at the same time. All right, so let's go to our pen and let's write something to go with it. Uh, go back. Okay. Let's see. I think it's pretty small. All right, so we're going to do... I'm not sure if y'all can see my hand. I've got to kind of be right up on it. And I am not used to writing with this, so I'm probably not going to spend as much time on it as I would if I were doing, you know, like a real project because it would be, it'd take a while. Okay, lucky or it's very hard for me to leave it this way. <laughs> it's very hard. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it. I want to do more like a, I want to do a, more of a brush pen. I'm going to do the script. Let's see how that looks. See how big I want it. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so this is pressure sensitive. So when you press down, it's going to get thicker. So let's see. I'm going to do light, heavy, heavy, heavy. How fun is this? Who's going to get this out? Who's already downloaded it since I started? <laughs> okay, so there's Lucky. If I wanted to move it down, you know what? I don't know that I could because I probably put it on that layer. I'll put it on, you know, I can still though. Okay, so if I want to move the Lucky, but it's 
right now, if, if you know anything about it, here's, here's this layer and this layer is all black. Lucky and the black is all connected. So if I tried to move this layer the way it is, it's going to move all of that. All right. And I don't want it to move all that. So I'm just going to take the part I want. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Put it right there. I think I'm actually going to cut and paste it because I think I want to um, duplicate it and make a shadow. Okay, I'm learning. Y'all are learning with me. I'm just learning this as I go. So um, I might know, look like I know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing in Procreate. I'm just trying to see how it works in here. Okay, I want you to watch the Lucky. And I want you to see what happens. Now, see it? Okay, now. Look at that. Doesn't that look so much better? I think it does. Hi, Miss Tiffany. So, Tiffany, I'm showing them. And anybody else that joined and, and don't know what we're doing, thanks for sharing, by the way. People, people's friends. Um, I, if you don't have Procreate, and I know that you were interested in getting Procreate, if you don't have an iPad, and you don't have an Apple Pencil, and you're not sure if you want to invest, then go ahead and um, get this app. If you um, are interested, it's $4.99. It's called Pocket Procreate, and it's the um, iOS can use it. But it's $4.99. I bought, hey, Joni. I bought this stylus, which is a stylus and a pen at the dollar store for $1. So I've spent $6 and I'm able to do this. Okay. I think I'm going to maybe print it out while I work on something else so y'all can see what it looks like when it's printed out. Okay. And this could be my screensaver or whatever. So now I'm going to start a new layer right here. And that means it's just blank. Thanks for the heart. That means it's just blank. I'm going to go back to my black and back to my script brush. That's what I'm on. And then I'm going to write the next thing. Okay. Oh, I forgot. It's pressure sensitive. So I'm going to go heavy down. Why is it white? Because I pushed it too hard. Okay. Heavy down. And if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm deleting it by touching both fingers. And again, I'll be here all day if I spend too much time on this, so I'm just going to move on. <clears throat> it kind of did a little drag. Okay, lucky or... If y'all have been watching me, you know what I'm going to write because I've done a several things with this this month so far. Uh, it, I'm learning that it just keeps on going once I lift up, so that's, that's something I'm going to have to get used to with the stylus. But I'm really liking the stylus because with my finger, it was kind of hard to do this. And see, it did that just now again. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Pressing down harder to get the thicker line. Okay, I'm going to stop there. There we go. Lucky or blessed. So now I'm going to take that layer, those two, and I'm going to put it where I want it. Ooh, no. But you could do that. Isn't that fun? You could do that. You can do this. You can do the whole thing smaller. And I think that's what I want because I'm going to put a question mark next to it. Y'all have a good St. Patty's Day. Can you tell? Ha, I can tell you right now I'm scared. I know, Marnette, it looks scary, but you know what? What's the worst thing that can happen? You lose $6. <laughs> I mean, no, but but um, there's nothing to be intimidated by because there's no... Ha, <laughs> I just got a text. Um, because all you have to do is play with it. And you might decide you don't like it, but you're not out much. But also, why is that gray? Um, 
you might fall in love with it. All right, gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna go, I wanna get that same gray, so I'm gonna hold this down. And I wanna do this one. Hi, Kristen. Modify. So anybody who just joined us, I'm showing how to use the, I think it's a new app. I don't know how new it is, but it's called Pocket Procreate. It's $4.99. It's in the app store. What did you do with it after you create? Oh, that's a good question, Monica. If, if you can hang on and keep watching, I'm going to show you. Um, all right. So I'm going to take this. We're just going to leave it right here. And I'm going to select this one. I'm going to share it as a JPEG. And I'm going to print it out. And then I'm going to have someone bring it to me. So, okay. Well, I'll see you right now. That's not good. And, and here's why. It's going to cut off. And the reason it's going to cut off is because I, the way, what I designed it in. So I'm going to see if I can change the size of that. I should have made it in a different size. But I didn't. So we'll see. If not, then you just learn your lesson and you start over. And again, I haven't played with this one enough to know. Okay, we're going to go into that. We're going to see if we can do anything different. No, but look, I can show you a time lapse replay. Wow, why is it showing that up there? I don't like that. I'll export the time-lapse video and then y'all can watch it on my phone. But it's really fun when you spent your time um, playing and then you go back and see like all, the whole process that you went into it. Uh, went into it. But yeah, I'm about to show that, Monica. Hold on if you can. If not, watch the replay later. Okay, so let's go to my... Y'all ignore all my junk. Okay, I've got a lot of junk on my phone. And here's the process of how we did it. Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay. Dang, I wish I could print it. I'm not really sure. Well, I'll show you what I did on the next one, okay? Okay, again, this is what it looks like right here, Pocket Procreate. And we're going to start a new one, but this time I'm going to do 4 by 6 because I know that, you know, what size that is. I don't know why it's that way, though. Okay, you've seen me make my son, Okay. So here is one that I made on the iPad, and I've also made it on, um, this is actually one I made on this, on the phone, but I've also made it on my iPad, okay? I just did a simple version. I'm going to show you how I did this, and then I'll show you what else you can do with it. All right, so we're going to go start with yellows, and this is going to be real fast. That's ugly. Sorry. Not a pretty yellow. We're going to go to that same paintbrush that I'm in love with right now. You just kind of get your favorite one, and... So that's not pretty. So let's get up here and find a pretty er yellow. See this this thing on the inside is actually where you're gonna get your color. So I'm gonna go up here. Whatever this thing is right here is on is what your color is gonna be on the inside. And this this helps change the color, but not the tone of it. Like okay, right now this is what I would if I was drawing. That's what I would get. But if I want to get what's right here. I would get closer to it. There's a lot to tell. Just if you're getting overwhelmed, just know that this is a quick tutorial. Is anybody else getting a lot of background static noise? I'd like to know that as well. We all answer if you're getting a lot of static noise on your end. See how fast I'm going to go on this? Because I want to show you the rest of it. Okay, now I'm going to change it to, you don't hear any background noise? Okay, good, that makes me feel better. All right, so I'm just putting different colors on here. I'm going to make it, I'm going to put lighter and darker. I want depth and highlights on it. Let's see, let's do some, a lot oranger. But I'm not, I'm not like completely covering up the other colors. I want them to show through and I'll probably go back and add some lighter color all right, let's do some really red. And what's cool on this is I can blend it. I'll show you the blending tool in just a second. 
Is anybody sold on, on this? Is this so fun yet? <laughs> or you're like, wait, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. All right. This is a blending tool. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to blend just like if I had a paintbrush in my hand. I could blend these colors together. Yeah, thank y'all for telling us because sometimes it's it's just our own computer and we don't know that we need to restart. Jan, uh, Jane. Hi, Jane. Jan, you might want to like get out and get back in. Okay, Jane. I have been wanting to talk to you, girl. You're going to have to call me. Um, but, okay, Jane, let me explain. This is, okay, what we're doing is with our, obviously with our phone. It's a, it's an app. This is a stylus. I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And it just helps you be able to, you can do this with your finger, but you have a lot more control with something like this. And um, we're just creating something fun on here. Isn't that cool blending? I know. All right, let's go lighter again. We want to pull some light tones in here. If y'all want to join my Be The Light Tribe, we're going to do stuff like this in the club. We'll do the iPad too, but I want some people, every once in a while I'm going to do a tutorial in here. So, you know, people who can't afford the iPad um, can still do some fun stuff with this. You're totally getting the app. Yes, I think this is perfect for you, Kristen. Um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy following along or just doing your own thing. So I'm blending these again. And now I'm going to go to white because I always have to put white on stuff to highlight it. Okay, so I'm going to do some highlighting here and there. And I don't want it perfect. I want it to look like a dry brush, you know. And then I'm going to blend it a little bit in certain areas. I don't want to blend it all together because then it'll all look like the same color. All right, when I get to this point, I don't have to write anything if I don't want to. All right, so I went ahead and printed this out to, so y'all could see. Now, this is different colors because I did it earlier. Okay, so I printed it out. Thank you, Mary. It's so fun. It's so therapeutic. I can't even tell y'all. Y'all share this, please. Thank you, Jane. If y'all don't, don't mind sharing this, I would love for other people to see it, and they might be interested in joining our Be The Light Lettering Tribe. So I'm just going to take a Crayola marker because these are great for practicing. They're inexpensive. So, so far, um, and, and you may be asking what you can do with these kind of things. There's a lot of stuff you can do with them. Let me get something to see if I can show you. I have stuff put in so many different places that, oh, okay. I, with my iPad stuff, which would also be something like this, you just have to make it the right size, okay? But here's what I've done with it. Made cards. I sent them to a printer and I had cards made. So that's one thing you can do with it. Here's another one. Had cards made. Here's another one. So there's so much you can do with it. And then I don't know if you saw earlier. Let me grab it real quick. But I'm, I'm actually designing a book. I have a, a hand lettering book and this is going to be my second one. But here is something else I've made doing this. And that's scripture cards. So imagine that I took this design, shrunk it down, and, and put it in a little rectangle so it could be a scripture card. So isn't that fun? Do you go through a lot of ink when printing them out? You know what? I have that new HP printer ink thing where you pay um, you pay per piece of paper, and it's actually a really good deal. But my uh, Be The Light Lettering Tribe is getting, they're getting a welcome box, and I'm going to put a set of the... Y'all, it's a surprise, so if you're in my club, don't listen. They're going to get a set of those, and I'm going to send them to the printer because it's more affordable that way, and their stuff is, it looks so much better. The printing is so much better. So just send it to a printer. All right. Now, I need to take a drink. <laughs> I've been talking a lot. Y'all, um, thank you so much for watching, supporting, sharing, and signing up. There's so many of you on here that are in the club. And somebody just signed up, like literally this second. Yay! Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do something on here. I can do shine. I can put, say, um, you are my sunshine. You want to do that? So I'm gonna, if I'm going to do you are my sunshine, I'm going to... Wait, let me pull this up so y'all can remember um, what I did. So I took this, printed it out. And then if you want to see how I wrote it. So some of you might be afraid to hand litter, okay? But you can do a background. You feel comfortable with that. So here is this. Oh, and I did some more things to this one too. Um, let me see. But I already wrote shine. And I'm going to show you. 
it's not as intimidating as it looks. But let's just take something like that and put it on here with a marker. So you can you can do like uh, what do you call it? Like make, kind of like mixed media actually. You could tell. Oh, oh, y'all look, look at this. Let me see if I can find one. Where is it? Because some of you are so scared. At this point, you're scared. You don't want to mess anything up. So guess what I have? An erasable pen. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So let's start with that. Let's do You Are My Sunshine. So you are my... And I'm going to do sunshine pretty big. Well, the S pretty big anyway. All right, so let's see. I don't like this. Look at that. Comes off. Comes right off. So it's a perfect way. Don't tell anybody. If you're in my tribe, don't listen. But they're getting one of these in their box too. <laughs> Surprise! Okay, that would have been cute to put a little sun right there, but okay, so you are my sunshine. I wanted sunshine to be the big part. The big part. <gasps> Jennifer, I saw that. I'm so excited. I think you're gonna love it. I think you're gonna love it. Okay, so you now I gotta fit our my. See how I'm mixing up the letters here? Who says they all have to be the same? Mm -hmm. Now, what I like about the iPad better is that what I would do at this point is I would manipulate and move these all around and move this down and that up and, you know, <laughs> you are my sunshine. And since I have all this room, you know what I want to do? I don't want to leave it like this. So, could I draw something? Sure. But I think I'm going to do you are my sunshine my only sunshine. Now, people were asking again, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? Well, you make it the right size and you put it in a frame. You make it into a card. Um, make it on a canvas. So, in case you haven't seen it, Jane, are you signing up? There is a link, Jane, you can go to, and you click on it, and it takes you to PayPal. Okay, so I designed this in the iPad, and then I put it on a canvas. But see how you can get ideas from this and transfer it into something else. So, I think that's fun. Hi, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing, y'all. Okay, so here we go. So we've taken our pocket procreate design without the words. So I took the words off and we printed that out and now we have it here. And so now we're going to do our words. I took the erasable pen that's going to be in my welcome box. <laughs> if you want to know what this app is, here is the app, Pocket Procreate. Um, it's like if you had the iPad Pro and, um, well, there's a different iPad I think you can do it with. You have your Apple Pencil and you're doing your Procreate work. You may not want to invest in that, so you can start by doing the app on your phone. Okay, so now we're going to take this and see how it does with um, some markers. All right, I'm going to start with a Sharpie. I mean, a, I was telling you, oh, Sharpie would be great too. But I was telling you, you don't have to spend a ton of money to hand letter. Right now, this, we are using about $6.00. And we don't have to have the erasable pen. I don't remember how much this is, but, you know, these are cheap. The app's five. Of course, you got to pay for the phone. Now, that's expensive. But we already have the phone, right? <laughs> All right. So, let's do sunshine. And I'm going to manipulate this marker and press down at times. So, see how I'm um, making it thicker at times and thinner at other times? I can always go back and make my down strokes um, thin or thick or, I mean, my down strokes thick. Sorry, I was thinking about something. So now, 
if you're in my tribe and you are, you're just not comfortable with this and you're thinking, ah, I'm not going to do that. I don't want that. I don't have the right phone. Then what you can do is I'm going to upload for y'all the backgrounds that we're going to work with. Okay. So you don't have to do any of this. I'm just going to give you a printable and you print it out yourself. Does that sound fun? Does that sound good? I got out of the line. I'm going to erase that just like so. Erase this. I probably should wait for it to dry a little bit more. But. Okay, so the bigger things I'm going to use a Crayola marker for. Smaller things I'm going to go for a smaller. But y'all, Crayola markers are wonderful for lettering. Now, when your marker gets like this, if you can see that, it's like leaning to one side, then you need to rotate your marker and make it flat on the other side. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Okay. Hey, no, never mind. I was going to ask Paisley to get that for me, but I forgot it didn't print because I didn't make it the right size. I'll have to figure that out, though, because you can change the side on the size on the iPad but I'm not sure about the phone. I haven't played with it enough. I just got it a couple of days ago. And I haven't, I didn't even know about it until a couple of days ago. All right, whenever I get to, and if I misspelled something, y'all, you need to tell me because it happens all the time. Erase that little part I got off. All right, now let's take a, we're going to take a, a marker that's smaller. And we wouldn't have to, but I just like, I like my markers to be different sizes. So let's see, we're going to do this one and see if it covers that. And that's bugging me right here. Okay. This is a real tiny brush pen, so it is flexible. I sure will. You know what, Jane, I'll put, I'll put the link uh, in right now. So you can go straight from here and anybody else that's interested. Y'all can go straight from here to sign up, but I got to figure out where it is. Okay. In fact, I'll show y'all. Um, Craft with Christy is my website. Oops. When you go to my website, that's what it looks like. And then you get a menu if you're on your phone. Learn to letter. Anything you want to do, learn to letter. I have classes here locally. So if you want to go to the Keeper Saw class, you click on the in-person classes. If you want to go to an online class and do it on your own at your own pace and you know you don't want to be in a group, click on that one. And if you want to join the tribe, you click here. And this will show you and tell you everything that you need to know about joining the tribe, okay? But I'm going to click this link and I'm going to put it in our feed here. Copy. And then post it for y'all, anybody who's interested. But it really is fun. I mean, we're... It's not only um, it's not only iPad lettering. It's not only acrylic painting. It's it's much more than that. It's hand letters focused on Jesus, but not just hand letters. I'm in Tyler, Texas. Where are you? Where are y'all all from? Tell me where you're from. Okay, I need to go to Create with Christy. Tell me where y'all are from. This is kind of fun to watch me watching my live. See if I can find us. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so I'm going to go into that. Now I'm going to hear myself. Let me turn that down. Orlando, Arkansas, Pennsylvania. Isn't that fun how many different places we're from? Yep, Texas. And the day today was beautiful. Nancy's in Texas too. All right, so I just posted the link right here. Whenever you click on it, it'll take you right to, I think it'll, I think it'll be clickable. I don't know, will it? Huh. If not, copy and paste it and you'll go right there to it. Okay. Now I got to go back to my pocket procreate. All right. I'm in love with this app. I'm so excited to have it for y'all that don't have an iPad that might want to try. Again, you don't, you don't necessarily need it. It's just for fun. If you want to play along, but it will not be exactly like the iPad. So I don't want you to be frustrated, but I want you to know if you want to play around, you kind of have some ideas of how. And the way I learn stuff is by playing and making mistakes. So the good part is that I've done all the, well, a lot of mistake making for you. <laughs> 
but I do, um, I'm going to do some training because you can always learn new things and I can bring it and show y'all. Okay. Here's my sunshine. My only sunshine. Isn't that great? Just take this, print it out right on top of it and you've got a piece of art. So fun. And then here's the one that I printed out that was, that I wrote shine in here. And this is printed out completely from here. And this is where I have it in the layer. It's still there. And this was with my finger, which is so hard. But <laughs> I like these little styluses because it just gives you so much more control. I got some blue on there, but blue is kind of pretty on there too. All right, y'all, what do you think? What are your thoughts about this? Y'all have any questions? You want to see anything else done in there? Are you ready to go buy the app? I wish I um, I wish I owned the app. <laughs> um, I'll show you something else I did. I haven't done much at all, at all. So this was the first thing, just playing, just to see how to use it. So this is what I suggest you do. You just play with it. There's that brush I love, and you can blend it with different colors. But look at this, y'all. This is finger painting therapy. Sit here and just play with different colors. See how what colors look pretty blended together. So I'm just going to pick another color. I thought that blue was pretty. And then remember this tool, the blending tool. And start blending it. Don't ever don't over blend because it's all going to be the same color. But play with it and then add something else. Let's do. What should what should we do? Yeah, I don't like that. I love using the same colors, but different shades of it, different hues. And so see how pretty that is? That light really makes that pop. But I'm telling you, um, I'm so thankful that it's popular now to have adult coloring books and stuff like that because it's so therapeutic. Let's take that blending tool. I guess I could do the whole thing and then we could write on top of it. Oops. Oh, I don't want that. I wish I could do this with me right now. But look, we could do this whole thing as a background and then we could write on top of it. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm going too fast. I just don't want y'all to be bored. Are y'all getting bored watching me? I guess you'd get off if you were getting bored, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, Shayla just signed up. Yay! This is so fun getting to see who signs up on here. <laughs> it's like y'all get to celebrate with me. I really am so excited because I haven't done a box before. And I can't wait because y'all, is it not a blast to get mail that's fun and not a bill? Tell me you feel like I do about that. Anyway, I might be getting a little wild with my colors, but I'm just playing. And the harder I push, the more vibrant the color. See that? Hi, Robin. How are you? Good to see you on here. Okay, I'm going to blend this. And then we'll write something on it. What should I write on it? It's like you can make it circly. I'm not in love with that. You can't tell that. It, well, now you can. All right, I'm going to make the smudge bigger and just kind of go down like this. How fun. Looking at these other tools, what they do. Okay. All right, did y'all decide what I should write? Jan's from South Carolina. Y'all, we've got Orlando, Arkansas, Pennsylvania, Texas, South Carolina. Who else is from somewhere else? Not mentioned. All right. Just for fun, I want to try some. I want to try some polka dots. Oh, I'm gonna to have to have the right brush. That's not a, a right brush. Hmm. Well, y'all don't even know the cool tools that are on here. I forgot. So one thing I absolutely love using. One of my favorite, favorite, favorites is the spray paint. I use this one all the time. It's just cool. I'll make it bigger. How cool is that? I know I get excited. Y'all are probably like, okay, lady, settle down, simmer down. <laughs> I'm going to pick white again. 
and just do my little I usually do it at the end because I you know, don't want to cover up my words. North Carolina, Kentucky, Maryland. Oh, y'all, this is so fun. Shayla, welcome to the club or to the tribe. All right. So let's take black just so it'll show up good. And let's take our, I like that brush pen we used earlier. It's the one called Script. I'm going to take my stylus and I'm going to write... Yay. Um, if y'all haven't, the those of you who haven't gotten an email, I haven't sent any emails today about um, people who joined the tribe today. You'll get an email tonight, and you'll get to go ahead and get in the Facebook group. And I want you to just explore it and have fun with it and meet new people in there. And um, go ahead and watch some of the videos and some of the challenges. You'll get a link to do the beginner, because I'm not sure everybody's kind of at a different level. And you get to go into, you get the free code for my class that's online um, at your self pace. And it's all the beginner stuff. So you can kind of go ahead and do the beginner stuff and get um, caught up with this. Okay, so we're going to do. I'm a lot more impressed with the stylus than I thought it would be. B, and I'm just going to do basic kind of print here just to show you something different. Uh, but in the in the group we're also focusing on um linda congratulations linda she joined um anyway focus on 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 how do we alexa stop i have to she has to tell me when to get off because i'll be here all day um, focusing on Jesus and ways of being the light to people. Um, random acts of kindness. We learn scripture. I have you do um, challenges and... Oh, I did it again. Go back. Um, scripture challenges. So I'll give you some scripture to, to write and... Sorry, it's hard to write and focus. <laughs> Hey, y'all, if you just popped on, say hello. Say hello to us. But anyway, we focus on Jesus. We do scripture. Scripture memory. We're kind of the Beatitudes right now. And um, I'm encouraging people to try to memorize it. I'm trying to memorize it as well through the month. And we're writing out the blessed scriptures. Kind of the theme of the month is blessed. And next month, it's going to be risen. And we'll work on Matthew 28, 6, which I have written on the sides. He is not here, for he has risen, as he has said. Come see the place where he was lying. And we will do this on my iPad. But I'm kind of, I'm not loving these colors. So I'll probably show some different colors. And then if you have an iPad, or if you have the Pocket Procreate, it might be called Procreate Pocket. I don't remember, but it's one or the other. But I'll probably do some different colors, because... I like this because I think purple, you know, or, or the, the blood and the wine and all that. But I think I'm going to do something maybe a little bit brighter, more Eastery colors. But, you know, you'll be able to do whatever you want. All right. I was about to do something. What was it? So if I was going to print this, I would select, click on it, share it. I could share it with a friend if I just wanted to send it to someone. And these are things that I like to put in the group so they can see that. Okay, that one. Ah, I did it again. I don't know what I drew that in. But if I go back and try to... Some of y'all... And, and I will tell you up front. I don't know everything. I will not be able to tell you everything. But I can teach you art on here. I may not know the technical part. That's something that... Okay, so I did a PDF and it's going to print with a PDF. But the JPEG it was too big. Procreate Pocket. Hey, Kristen. Thank you for all the information. God bless you. Can't wait to see you in person. I know, Jane. I hope you sign up for a class. So if I want to print this out, I'll go ahead and print it. It's not my favorite color. I mean, it's it's just something I did quick to show y'all, but I want to see, show you what it looks like when you print it out. But I showed you this printed out. Oopsie. And I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. I'm going to actually 
go, but I want to show you um, one more time. I designed this in here. I printed it out. I wrote on it with a Crayola marker here. This one I printed out just like it was, and it looks great. And that that's from my phone, the Procreate Pocket or Pocket Procreate. Sorry, I don't remember which way. Um, and, and I did this with an iPad, so it's the same. I could do this on the phone too. You can do that. I did this on my iPad Pro. I mean, that's a lot of detail. If you see how I've got the outlines, I got the shadows. Um, see the highlights in there the stitching I mean it's there's a lot a lot of detail but you don't have to do so much detail to make something fun and pretty okay so don't be intimidated this club is gonna be for all levels but you can't I don't want you bored and so I've got to jump ahead for some people so they are challenged and then I've got some simple projects so everybody feels like they're fed in some way so anyway I love you guys. I thank you for watching. If you have questions, let me know. I'm going to go back and at the top of this post, I'm going to put the um, link to join the club. And um, if you'll share this, that's awesome. And welcome to the club, y'all. A bunch of y'all have joined while we're talking. I'm so excited. Thank you, Mary. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.